I run this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be transparent. Here's the view outside my window when I wake up. This is what I wake up to. Here's my room. Here's the view of my desk. Here's the view from under my blanket when I nap on my uncomfortable futon. I really don't mean to complain. Here's the program I'm editing this thing on right now. Okay, I'll back up. This is the state I live in, in the school I go to, in the building where I live. Most of this is going to take place here. Here's what it actually looks like. This is my floor. This is my class schedule. It's safe to assume that nothing this was shot during these times. This is me. No shit. Here are the people we don't see very much on the floor. Here's where we shower and pee and poop. People have the most sex in this bathroom, so a lot of people choose to use this bathroom. Personally, I like using this bathroom because it's handicap accessible and I like sitting down in the shower sometimes. Uh, I forgot where I was. Oh, and this is Hank. This is all about him. What are you doing? Only one thing I've said so far has been a lie. So, for like the first month of school, uh, <laughs> whenever I pooped, it would be like mostly green. And Why is that? I have no clue. I don't know if it was because I was eating a lot of fried chicken and fries. One time, I had this log before I took a shower, and I forgot to flush. There was like this, like, neon green, like, have you seen the commercials for those Mayo energy drink things? Where they just dump them into the water? It was like one of those commercials where they, they have this, like, food coloring coming out or just like this it was the weirdest <laughs> thing ever i thought i had something seriously wrong with me and what it's more brownish now <laughs> so <laughs> i'm happy again hank grew up in morristown indiana the 2010 census found that there are a little over 1200 people living there which is almost half the size of my high school his town has a good number of farmers. I'm not entirely sure if they even have a mayor. He graduated with like 12 people or something, and his town is comprised of 99% white people. Oh, I also like to imagine that everyone in his town is a goat. Uh, anyway, Hank is a sophomore like me. He's into pretty simple things. He's on the frisbee team called the Hoosier Daddies. I live really close to Hank. For instance, here's the walk from my room to his. Hank used to play soccer in high school. One time he set up a mini field in our lounge and played with Bad Brad and Sydney. Bad Brad isn't really as bad as his name implies. Sydney loves me unconditionally for some reason. So something up here. Yeah, for sure. Ow, fuck! Why are you still standing? This is Sam. She's really not as dumb as she's about to make herself sound. I hate being on video because I feel like it's just taking a picture, but then I'm always the one that looks like an idiot. Why do you think that? Because I think it's a picture. But I know it's a video right now, so I'm pissed off. Do you think it's the video's fault, or do you think it's your fault? No, I think it's the video's fault. So what if I did the same thing to Hank over the course of a very long time? Then he'd probably feel like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, ne that? Nearly Naked Mile was a blast. I got to hold the free duds <laughs> slash single mother's sign while I was running. It was such a conversation starter, but now that I'm in my underwear, I have to put a banana 
in oh. the boxers. That's what that's for, obviously. <laughs> no more naked. Let me go look at myself. Yeah. Still underwear though. <laughs> I'm not putting pants on. Jewish holiday. And then left. Oh. That wasn't even <laughs> close. No. <laughs> Wait, but you're actually eating this banana that you Why put in your you pants. Naked? Me? <laughs> yeah. I'd be awesome if you stopped. Hey, Sydney. Hi. What do you think of Hank? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> hey, Dylan. What? What? What do you think of Hank? He's all right. He's an upstanding individual. He gives back to the community a lot. What do you really think about Hank? There you go. Hank kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Hank's a little racist. Yeah, we got, I got that. I got some of that. The computer is down by Sydney's feet. She's probably kicking it. She likes to steal my stuff. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That was like terrorist mode, Akshay. <laughs> Suicide. Hey, Sydney. Sydney, do you think Hank's a racist? Like <laughs> A little bit. No, but like for real. For real, a little bit. Do you think? <laughs> where do you think it came from? Do you think it it's came from? It's a small town. How many people lived in your town, Hank? Uh, I don't know. There's 200 in the high school, 50 graduated, so more than that. What did the other? What did the other ones do? <laughs> I made racist jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, stop! Hi. <laughs> For the record, I don't think this 100% constitutes as racism. I'm gonna knee you in your fucking ball. <laughs> I swear to God, you guys are so weird. Bye, Kelly. Bye. Don't worry, there'll be a part on that. And a homophobe. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Oh. For the record, I don't think this 100% constitutes as homophobia. <laughs> the point is, Hank has some flaws. And worse than that, he has some insecurities. Here's Hank at a low point early this year, after injuring himself after practice. Unsure if he'll be able to play for the rest of the year. Pay attention to what Brad says that cheers him up. Sharon, Nick, comes on our floor, and he just dumped it back to me. I jumped up, came down on my pinky toe, and this foot, just all my pressure was here, and it just rolled it around, like the heel came out, and um, yeah, I just fell to the ground. How long are you out? It's probably going to be a few weeks. Wow. Oh. That's a bummer. Yeah. Does that affect your standing on the mamas? Well, I'm probably going to get dropped off the mamas just because the last two practices I was sick. This one I get injured, so mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to practice for the next few weeks. So, no more mamas playing. You'll get more playing time though, right? Playing for the other one you think? Uh, no, not really. Really? Yeah, maybe a little bit more, but not like a huge increase. Probably because it's like, I mean, I wouldn't really say I'm better than most of those because like the handlers of the daddies are still way better than I am. Yeah. But like I'd probably be a main cutter for the daddies, the B team. Posted a video on your wall. Have you seen it yet? Yeah. <laughs> Have you that seen that video so, already? No, that yes. was so cool. Oh my god. That hey. whole video is worth waiting to see whoever was in the panda suit get hit in the face <laughs> with the basketball. A panda throws a frisbee and a guy asks like, he's gonna throw the basketball and hit the frisbee? <laughs> Nails the panda. Yeah. He like turned around and gets a nail right in the, the face with the basketball. Oh. And it was just... Hank is also terrified of the fact that he's too picky. When he's really not. Hank, Hank, why don't why don't you like the barbecue it. chicken? I'm cursed with being the pickiest person in the world. Yes, you are. Yes, I know. <laughs> why do you think you're picky? Because I've always just ate the same stuff. Yeah. And when I never try new stuff, and when I try new stuff, it doesn't taste good. Your palate was so used to the old. Hey. Indeed. Do you like barbecue chicken pizza? And so I'm just so used to eating the same stuff that okay, whenever I try something new, it just tastes awful. What do you say you spend most of your time thinking about? Um, I, I don't feel like I'm going 
or like I don't feel like I'm doing good work and that I don't feel that I'm going to like be able to be a PT because I just don't feel like I'm doing work that will get me to that position and that I'm not doing good enough in chemistry and then I play video games all the time and that's not helping at all so like I just don't think that I'm going to be able to do what I want to do <laughs> which sucks what I think most is I don't have enough time to get everything done I hate it but then I waste time like I have it to spare What's happening here is Hank took a trash can out of one of the bathrooms and started trying to kick his empty Gatorade bottle into it. He was doing this for like 15 minutes until we all started wondering what the fuck that sound was. It kind of turned into a game. Oh, the small Indian kid standing there is our friend Akshay. Hey Akshay. Oh shoot. Akshay! <laughs> This is Nathan. Well, some people on the floor call him Gaithan, and that's because I gave him that nickname. What are you doing? Shut the door. Is he <laughs> Here's the totally unbloated legend of Nathan beating up Hank. I'm walking back from bringing movies back. And uh, Nathan walks by, uh -huh. and he just walks by, and then he hits me in the arm. So I get Why? mad. I don't know, because he <laughs> likes to hit people because he's a douchebag. So I turn around, like, I get mad at him. I follow him back to the, the doors down there, yeah. and he, like, runs away, and I just walk up to him. I wanted to hit him in the face so bad, but I didn't. I just, I just, uh, and I hit him in the arm. But While Hank's venting, I just want to add that Nathan has gotten a whole lot better since this. He used to come into your room and drink your sodas and fart on your carpet, but he's gotten a whole lot nicer since then. And this might even be his lowest point in our eyes. Nathan kind of looks like Mickey Mouse. Really? <laughs> oh, and you just told everyone and they're freaking out? Yeah. So that's what happened? Yeah. Okay. Over-exaggeration. <laughs> they're like, Hank's gonna beat the shit out of Nathan. <laughs> there you go. Basically, Nathan, just like a crazy man, came up and punched him in the shoulder for no reason. Him and Sarah got a plan to beat the shit out of Nathan. What did you hear happen? What happened? What, what did you hear happen? I didn't hear anything happen. Oh. Something happened? No, no, nothing really happened. He's just, he's crossed the line. He's yeah. just... Anyway, back to what I was saying. The point is, Hank unknowingly made a game that made people connect in a way that we didn't expect. And this is what Hank does all the time. This whole thing isn't saying that everybody loves everyone and that there's no drama on the floor, because there is. A lot of time I just don't have my camera on me. I'm afraid that if I say some of the things I know and speculate, it could get a little weird. So I'm gonna do it anyway, but change all the names to cartoon characters. So, on Elkin 2, and none of these are exclusive to any one person, by the way. Chip and Dale are roommates and they can't stand each other. Smurfette had sex with Snagglepuss the first week and it weirded everyone out with the exception of Smurfette and Snagglepuss. Gumby never shuts up and everybody wants him, her, too. Sometimes the Powerpuff Girls alienate themselves from others on the floor so they appear exclusionary and rise the sort of conflict usually only seen in middle school. Garfield is living in his, her glory days and is having a hard time moving on. Woody Woodpecker started dating Daphne early in the year, but he fucked around and made a lot of enemies, for now ignoring the fact that he's actually getting better. Sometimes Fred and Judy suffer fits of near clinical depression, and it's not that nobody knows, but nobody knows what the fuck to say, to do to empathize, though they want to. Everyone is annoyed with Scrappy-Doo, everyone. Rocky plays it off as if he, she is more innocent than he, she actually is. One time Pikachu left her dildo out, and a lot of people saw it. Yes, I took a picture of it, and no, I'm not putting it here out of respect, or whatever. Yogi, Betty, and Spongebob are showing early signs of alcoholism, some due to family predispositions. Many of them are hypocrites at some capacity, just as many watching right now on the floor are trying to figure out who it is I'm talking about, and are the same vindictive and hurtful ones who initiated these conflicts in the first place. And this is all going on, and I don't mean to say with this that it is not going on, but sometimes it's just hard to ignore the cartoon.
At times, I'll just hear Hank talking, sometimes to himself, and I'll, I'll go in to investigate. Hey, Hank. Whoa, shoot. <laughs> I was not expecting that to come in. What's going on? What are you working on? I'm working on, I gotta cr peer critique these poems. Yeah. And I hate reading this girl's poems because they're always awful. This one actually isn't that bad as like in whole, as, as a whole, mm -hmm. but they're usually just awful. I just heard you're frustrated about something. What are you frustrated about? <laughs> um, this, this line, or this group here, there <coughs> there is no sign of movement in the painting no human animal or force of nature there is only a deserted sailboat that witnesses the effect of rain on the water rain is a force of nature <laughs> is there no nothing going on if it's raining <laughs> that's something happening yeah I feel like every everybody feels like they know everything about Hank that there is to know, but when you get close. <laughs> the story. That's cute to walk away. This is Sam. Everyone say hi to Sam. Why does Mario have a water gun? Because of his appearance in the GameCube. Yeah, but it's useless. It does suck really bad. <clears throat> like his... Oh no, I broke the fourth wall. <laughs> I looked at the camera. We're at the LMFAO concert and Hank and Akshay got separated from us and they sent you a very specific text. Yeah. That they want me to hold this up so they can find us. <laughs> Sucks that he doesn't come out more though. All I see him is for shower and when he leaves for band practice. Yeah. Sam had a long period second semester where he wouldn't really come out of his room for much. He was playing a lot of video games and hey, he wanted to do that, but Hank was the only one who could actually get him to come out. And then I hear this and I don't know what's going on. Read this. Watch Hank's tongue. <laughs> I'm a very active tongue user. Do you just do that naturally? Yeah. No, I'm making a documentary about Hank. Really? Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> I think you'll call it like the Hank Files or something. Yeah. Or... Something with Pharaoh. The Pharaoh Files. Mm -hmm. With a PH for files. You think I'm getting used to what? You being filmed all the time. Oh, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I just hope it's not like the fighter, where Christian Bale thinks he's like this hot shot, then it's really about his crack addiction. Maybe oh he's yeah. Filmed about him. Yeah. So hopefully. No, not like I don't think that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> Hank Havlin. Yet. Total asshole. <laughs> We're gonna put this couch on top of this couch, and then it's gonna be. Couchception. Yep. Do it.
pyramid. <laughs> How y'all doing? In this shot, Hank's juking Kinsey. Here's a picture of Kinsey petting a goat. She really did not want me to add this for some reason. I showed Hank a website that makes like a zoetrope effect. And so that's what he's been doing all day. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's what he's been doing all day. Akshay, you're playing uh, Skyrim right now. How yes, much time do you think Hank has watched people play Skyrim? Too much. Probably at least half his week. That's true. He's always hey. watching. Hi. Uh. I don't like this. Uh, no! Everyone say hola to Alejandra. You! Great. I used to give her noogies, but I accidentally ran her into a wall one time. This time she tackled me. She likes Hank almost as much as I do. I love Hank. Why? Because he's the best. I feel awkward. <laughs> but it's not like a competition or anything. But if it was, I would win. Alejandra's best friend is Sarah, who also likes Hank, but might not after seeing this. For what it's worth, I think she's great. And I won't necessarily print it. If yeah, you, you will. Like it. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> You're already putting Sarah's thing in there. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, it'll be the last day. Dude. That's Sarah dancing. <laughs> That's Sarah dancing. I really want her it'll to be move out day. Move out. It's bad. <laughs> oh, Everyone's dude. laughing, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's, nobody's innocent from this. I really do feel bad about that one. I guess I should embarrass Hank. Nothing but blankets since all the ladies are gone. <laughs> Nothing but dudes on the floor. Blanket kilts. Blanket kilts. Uh, it's Thanksgiving in a couple days. <laughs> Everyone left but us. Oh shoot, Alex is down there. <laughs> are you wearing anything under that? No. <laughs> hey. Hi, Hank's mom. It's like yeah. this all the time. Uh huh. It's the first time I feel it's weird, weird recording someone. Yeah, I'm gonna someday, though. One thing I really admire about Hank is he usually finds things interesting that just aren't that interesting. Motherfucking Hank! We just found each other on chat roulette! Woo! Who's. What? Who's Akshay? I'm fucking with that! I'm fucking with that! That is awesome! <laughs> this is why you were just screaming <laughs> seconds ago. Indeed. Hank, what what do you want to get out of chat roulette? I just want to talk to people, play Pictionary, and now I found Akshay. That's all I wanted to do, and it took about five minutes. In this song, I was listening to. Oh shit, I was zooming in. Listening to earlier, the guy, it kind of looked like he was like doing stuff like this because you could see the one hand and it was shooting down in this direction. Yeah. And I think it'd be really cool to like make a music video yeah. where you're just holding the camera and you're taking it around and then you switch it around back to normal, normal mode and you like, boom, 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 just like walking around campus like. Start out the hyper, like take a picture of people playing basketball, flip it around, back to you, you're just walking around. Okay. You get out to Woodlawn, boom, back to them, and just like. 12 across exposes airs. No. I want to be one with the little thing, the little lion Goomba thing. 
is so cool. What's the point to it? <laughs> there is no point. There actually is a point, but I'll let this one slide. I don't know, we don't even know what to think of this. Other than, I should have said, come hang with Jesus, and had people hanging up here like <laughs> I have no idea. Well, dang it, Archie. Uh, it's the radio. I think it's NPR. It's NPR. Oh, no. This is happening. Ah, my feet are. That was even worse. Sorry. We listen to the blood splatter. We could track him to where he died. Hank's referring to a guy on the floor who actually died last year. We kind of made up that he was a ghost on the floor, which was funny because Nathan actually believed in ghosts. Correction, believes in ghosts. Nathan believes in ghosts. Just gonna make that clear. Doing it for a class project? No. Like any good friends, we do a great job at humiliating each other. Much too zoomed in. The wild. Zoom back out. The wild bird did you save me. He's making us charging noise. I don't know. He's making his mating call. <laughs> hey. <laughs> now you know how I feel. <laughs> Hank hates it when I do this. Why must you break Jack Skellington? Cut it. <laughs> <laughs> I just got my face wrecked. Oh my gosh. I just... <laughs> I just... My face... I don't know how to describe it. it was, What'd you do? Red, I smacked yeah. Hank in the face. Why? He told me the other day that if he didn't finish his lab report by 3 o'clock, that I could smack him in the oh, face cow. and he did not accomplish his goal. I would just like to add that this is probably the nerdiest act of violence of all time. I was afraid he was going to get pissed after I did it. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're cool. You could do that harder? Cannonball. Oh, okay. uh, uh, my butt. <laughs> Wake up, uh, Ow, God damn it. I'm taking this as a sign that I need to end this. I'm going to let Hank crab around campus while I talk about some things that are important to me. Some of you won't like this, but Whatever. Sometimes people just suck, and it's our job to find out why we suck so much sometimes. It's the sort of necessary reality check that makes you realize that the goal of human interaction is to be just a little less arrogant. That we can come to be certain that the more we think about ourselves, the less joy we take out of the act of living. That bullshit is a requirement for human existence. That there is some sentimental chasm in our stupid brains that love people for no good reason that we can't turn the switch off as much as we want to when we're hurt and mistreated by others, equally as much as we know we hurt and mistreat others. That I love these people here more than is comfortable to say. That this dumb and cliche sentimental part may turn out to be totally true. That the people I'm painting over may be feeling the same shitty thoughts I'm having. That the hard part isn't saying or thinking these things, but believing them to be true, when this feels petty and boring and lonely and frustrating. Let's get concrete. Earlier this year, I made a nice, pretty film that was about Bloomington and what it's like here and why. It was pretty and nice, but the thing is it didn't really mean shit to me. I love Hank because I have yet to see him hurt and mistreat others. Not really. But I don't think I'll mind having him around to see it. Life is not as nearly composed as our recollections lead us to believe. 
It's moving, it passes us all the time. So while this film doesn't at all touch upon my emotional state, what I've been feeling, or even what it's actually like here at all, it's going to mean so much more to me than these other things I've made. So let me just restate what I just said. This is going to mean infinitely more to me than this. In this room, in this hallway, in this lounge with these people. And I'm okay with that. Because this isn't trying to say anything more than what it's saying. It's not really about trying to make something that is real, but something that feels real. It's about Hank, but I hope you know why it's not. Because Hank wouldn't be anything without these people. So, you're not going to learn anything about Hank by just watching this. He's the best of us, but he's really not that different from anyone else and that it probably wouldn't be all that hard to get to know him if you try. So, get to know someone. So I just got done editing the Hank documentary, and you might say that ending that I just did was kind of a cop-out, and I get that, but not as much as a cop-out as the one I'm about to do. supposed to read that out loud either. That's why I wrote it down. What do you th what do you think of it so far, Hank? <laughs> I think it was I thought that was awesome. Like where do you think it's gonna go? Just some of it. I don't know. I was always nervous that it was gonna be like Yeah. 
Look at this tool. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> this total bro That's douche. Gonna... Hello. Hey, you're Hello. in it. Hi. You're in it right now. Oh, sweet. Yep. What, what is it?